Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Abel Lee and I have two quick DIYs. One is for fall and the other one is for Halloween. All of course, Dollar Tree items. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. For the first DIY, we're gonna need four of these tiny brooms and we began by removing the head of the scarecrow as well as the leaves. And also we're going to remove the strings. Okay, once you've done that, let's set two of the brooms aside and keep two of them as you see here. We're gonna take one of the tiny brooms and place it on top of the other, and then using the string that we had removed before, we're gonna go ahead and tie a knot. Okay, so this is what you should have. We just wanna make a longer broomstick. Now this is the bottom of the broom and we're gonna take the other two tiny brooms and put them side by side, gather them together and then we are going to put this behind the broomstick and using the string, we're gonna go ahead and tie them together. So as you can see, our broom is at a much larger scale now, and now we want the bottom to flare out, and I'll teach you how to do that. So we're gonna take two of the strings and we are going to put them together and tie a knot, and we will use that to flare out the broom. Okay, hopefully I can explain myself on this part. Find the middle of the string and we're gonna place one of the strings on top of the broom, the other will go below. Separate about half an inch of the bristles, then feed the bottom string through to the top of the broom and the string that is on top already, we're gonna feed it through below the broom. Um, hopefully that makes sense and we're gonna repeat the process until we reach the end. So again, separate another half an inch of the bristles and feed the bottom string up towards the top and the top towards the bottom and repeat the process until you reach the end. Okay, so this is what you should have and notice how it flares out now. Okay, so now for the fun part, let's go ahead and decorate our broom. Okay, so for this part, we're gonna need one of the bundles of the foxtail, another bundle of the maple bouquet, as well as a pumpkin, and also ribbon. Take your foxtail and place it on top of the broom and glue that onto place using your glue gun. Next, take your maple bouquet and place that on top of the broom and glue it into place using your hot glue gun. Now on this part, I did use a lot of the glue and I just held it into place until it dried completely. Don't worry, we will be covering everything um, so it will look nice, I promise. Now I'm gonna take one of the pumpkins. I decided to go with the orange one to give it a pop of color and glue that into place. I'm gonna take my 10 snips and cut the bottom piece of the florals. And finally, we're gonna create a bow. Now there is no right or wrong way of making a bow. I'm just making three loops and then using a string to tie it and gather it together and then hot glue it into place. This will be covering all the mistakes that we've made or the glue from the glue gun, and we are done. Now let's move on to the second DIY. So I went ahead and kept the broomstick and removed the bristles. Now instead we are going to replace them with these uh, glittery ones. We're gonna tie them on the bottom using the string just as we did on the first DIY.
take some Dollar Tree ribbon and I chose the color black, but you can also spray paint if you like. I just decided to go with the ribbon. I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue it to start and then wrap it around all the way to the end. And finally, we are going to add a bow and just hot glue that into place. Thank you guys so much for watching. The overall cost for this project is $8 approximately, depending on what you're going to use. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. Give me a like and follow me on Instagram at abole 25 -L, L E. And don't forget that you and I have an appointment in my next video. Also, tell me which one of the two is your favorite and why.